in violence against women. Friends, coming to the position in India, the principle of gender equality is enshrined in our constitution and the Parliament of India has also enacted several progressive laws to protect women against discrimination, violence, atrocities, and also to eradicate social evils. The 73rd and the 74th constitutional amendments provided for reservation of 33% of seats for women in local bodies of governance. It also provides for at least one third reservation for women to the office of chairperson in these bodies. Some of the Indian states have already raised the reservation level up to 50% to provide for still wider participation. Today, under the visionary leadership of our Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Modi, India has moved from a, from a paradigm of women's development to women-led development. I'm proud to say we are moving with the vision of a new India, where women are equal partners in fast-paced and sustainable national development. Women have occupied the highest offices of our land, such as the President and the Prime Minister of our country. Two women speakers for the two five years span beginning 2009 and 14 in Lok Sabha, and two women adorning the high office of Vice Chairman Raj Sabha for a period of 15 years altogether. I take immense pride in saying that we have just elected a woman as President of India for the second term. Distinguished delegates, women's representation in our parliament has gradually Thank increased over so the much, years India. and the current 17th Lok Sabha returned a record. Thank you. The floor goes to the delegation from Switzerland. Thank you, Madam President of the session. On behalf of the delegation from Switzerland, I would like to congratulate the approach from the IPU to really stress these uh, gender sensitive parliaments. I think one of the first things to do is to raise awareness around this phenomenon of violence against women because in civil society or in our parliaments, people who are victims of sexual harassment, of 